still face experiment what the mother did was she sits down and she's playing with her baby who's about a year of age I need my girl Oh. And she gives a greeting to the baby, the baby gives a greeting back to her. Yeah. Yeah. This baby starts pointing at different places in the world and the mother's trying to engage her and play with her. They're working to coordinate their emotions and their intentions, what they want to do in the world. And that's really what the baby is used to. And then we ask the mother to not respond to the baby. The baby very quickly picks up on this, and then she uses all of her abilities to try and get the mother back. She smiles at the mother. She points because she's used to the mother looking where she points. Yeah. The baby puts both hands up in front of her and says, what's happening here? She makes that screechy sound at the mother, like, come on, why aren't we doing this? Even in this two minutes when they don't get the normal reaction, they react with negative emotions, they turn away, they feel the stress of it, they actually may lose control of their posture because of the stress that they're experiencing. First, Dr. Tronic places six-month-old Mackenzie and her mother face to face. Hi. Can I touch her when I'm he asks mom to talk and play with her daughter the way she normally does. Hi, sweetheart. <laughs> Obviously, their connection is strong. The baby is engaged, responsive, clearly emotionally content. Then Dr. Tronic instructs the mother to disengage by making a still face. She stays there, but doesn't respond to her baby. Mackenzie seems confused. She's not used to mom acting like this. Mom turns back, but keeps the still face. Mackenzie seems to expect her to re-engage, but when she doesn't, look how the baby reacts. Even at this young age, she tries to entice mom to interact with her. She reaches out. She smiles. She flails her hands. All strategies for getting mom's attention. When that doesn't work, she becomes fussy, emotionally agitated. And finally, she just gives up. Dr. Tronic asks mom to re-engage. It takes a moment, but soon the world goes back to normal for Mackenzie. So what we're going to do is get you just to interact with Fraser, just as you normally would with him sitting here and kind of smile mm -hmm. and talk and things like that. To show how a child's sense of well-being is dependent upon the quality of interaction, Dr. Zedike has asked this mother to stop responding to her baby. The child's reaction demonstrates what happens if it does not receive this kind of stimulation. So here, mum's face is now being held still. She's not responding to what the baby's doing. And you can start to see the discomfort of the baby. See how it looks away? It now looks really withdrawn and kind of despondent. It checks back with mum. She doesn't smile. It tries. It even tries a smile. She doesn't respond. Its smile goes away. The baby's looking down. It's not even trying to interact. If this goes on and on and on over a long term, you're going to get a withdrawn child who doesn't understand that other people will interact with it. And if it doesn't understand that other people interact with it, you don't have a healthy person. 